the first reason you may be getting an unauthorized error with ADB commands on Android is due to USB debugging mode not being active. This is a hidden toggle within the developer options menu and enabling this feature is the first thing that needs to be done. To find this hidden developer options menu, we first need to enable developer mode and that can be done by tapping the build number option within the about phone section around seven to 10 times. But if anyone needs help doing this, I'll be sure to include a link to a dedicated guide that covers all of the steps involved. I'll even add that link to the pinned comment here so that it's easy for everyone to find. After you have enabled developer mode, you will then find this new developer options menu tucked away within the system section of the settings application. So we're gonna tap in here to dive into this menu. And from here, you just want to scroll through this list until you find the USB debugging toggle. This is going to be disabled by default. So just give it a tap and that will enable the feature. If you already had USB debugging mode enabled, but you were still getting that unauthorized error when trying to execute an ADB command, then it's likely an issue with the PC not having the proper permissions. See, when you connect the phone to the PC while it is in USB debugging mode, if you also have an ADB server running on your computer, then it will automatically pop up a message that looks like this. It's asking if you want to grant USB debugging access to the PC that's connected to this phone. If you cancel out of this prompt instead of accepting it, then you will get that unauthorized error. And the sad thing is, you usually will not get this menu to appear again until it's a different instance of the ADB server or until you tap the revoke USB debugging authorizations feature here. What this does is it erases all of the save details relating to this special mode and erasing all of that will allow that prompt to appear again right here.